ceremony in a few moments. Before we officially open proceedings, we'll be welcoming our students to the room. This gives a chance to their family and friends to see them entering the room where they're provided with recording of the ceremony tomorrow. We are operating in accordance with the COVID safe plan and we ask that the following are adhered to during your visit here today. Please maintain physical distancing of 1.5 metres. Masks to be worn on entrance and exits, but they can be removed whilst you're seated. There are hand sanitising stations and hand washing facilities available um, throughout the event. And we ask attendees to practise good personal and hand hygiene during this time. I would like to ask our graduating cohort to enter the room in preparation for the ceremony.
lovely to see a lot of hand waving and cheering as your family member came down the, the stairs to, on this really wonderful day. Good afternoon and welcome to MARTA Education's graduation ceremony for our Diploma of Nursing graduates. My name is Jo Griffin, I'm a team member at MARTA Education and I'll be your Master of Ceremonies here for today. As we begin, on behalf of MARTA, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land in which we gather, the Jagera and the Turrbal people, whose endearing dreams, spirit, spiritual and physical connection to country and culture inspire us to continue stewarding the resources with which we have been gifted. We acknowledge and pay respects to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians, to their elders, past, present and emerging. A few years ago, MARTA set its vision for the future, for where we're trying to get to as an organisation, and that is by empowering people to live better lives through improved health and wellbeing. While it's going to take a genuine team effort for the organisation to make the shift towards interacting with people or community and to support their health and wellbeing anywhere and in any time, and of course we can throw COVID into that, I cannot think, I can think of no group who will play a greater role as the, the graduates sitting here today in helping MARTA group move towards that direction as our future nurses. They are at the forefront of care and plays such an enormous role in creating a holistic patient experience at MARTA. It's a significant duty, but one which I'm sure the graduates from this cohort are well and truly prepared for after earning their diploma through MARTA education. A warm welcome too to St. Lawrence's College and the Edmund Rice Performing Arts Centre. If you do need the bathroom, they're actually outside the hall on the left-hand side, just in case. And in the event of a fire, please make your way out the doors at the back or the sides of the auditorium and follow the directions of the local staff. Alongside our graduates today, we have several guests joining us for our celebration. So Dr. Peter Steer, MARTA's Chief Executive Officer, will present his uh, address to the graduates via video link. Donna Bonney, who is our Executive Director of MARTA Education, will present the graduates with their uh, certificates. Barry Hankinson, who's our General Manager of Education and Training here at MARTA Education. Tracy Huntley, who, uh, Director of Clinical Services at MARTA Private Hospital, will welcome you to the profession. In addition, I'd like to note the contributions of the entire MARTA Education team, many of them who are here today, involved in the Diploma of Nursing program. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences and expertise with our graduates along their journey towards entering the nursing profession. And lastly, but certainly no means least, family and friends, both present here today, but all those watching the recording of the ceremony, they have supported these exceptional graduates throughout their learning journey, and we wanna say a special thank you to you. I'd like to welcome our graduates uh, to hear from Tracy Hutley, who is one of our uh, uh, leaders in nursing here. And if she could come to the stage, that would be wonderful, Tracy. So Tracy is the Director of Clinical Services at MARTA Private Hospital here in Brisbane. And she's really delighted to share this special occasion with our diploma students today. Having graduated from a Bachelor of Nursing in 1999, Tracy commenced as a new graduate within MARTA Private Hospital Brisbane. Over the 22 years that Tracy has worked at MARTA, she has been able to work across many clinical areas within the hospital and the organisation. In addition, Tracy has graduated from a Masters of Nursing Leadership while working across areas such as education, management, safety and quality, and policy development. She has spent 10 years as the Director of Clinical Services at MARTA Private Hospital Redland and has had the wonderful opportunity to be the Acting Chief Nursing and Medical Officer for MARTA. More recently, Tracy has commenced in the role of Director of Clinical Services at MARTA Private Hospital Brisbane. Please welcome Tracy.
Thank you, everybody. Um, I have to say, Joe probably got to see all of the interactions as our graduates walked out from the stage, but um, I could watch all of the graduates coming out. And the first thing they did was to look up at the audience to see where their loved ones were out there. And there was a real moment when they could connect with the people that they love. And it was a joy to watch all of your faces as you come out here today. So um, thank you for letting me be a part of that and a sincere congratulations to our enrolled nursing graduates and a very warm welcome to friends and family as well, um, supporting our graduates at this remarkable time as well. The end of one journey and the beginning of another. So you have all earned the joy and pride and no doubt relief that comes with today. So enjoy the moment and recognise that it is a celebration and the start of an incredible journey into a profession that I'm sure will offer you many great blessings. Um, as I look at you today, I do think back um, all of those years ago, and I don't like to admit it, 22 years ago, uh, when I was a graduate nurse as well. And um, I just look at you today and think back on the time that I've had in my nursing career and the many joys that it's brought me as well. And I would never have thought that I would be standing up here talking to a bunch of new graduates um, all of these years later. So I've been very lucky. I've worked at MARTA for my entire 22-year uh, <laughs> profession and um, I'm extremely proud of that. Um, I was fortunate enough at the time to be one of only nine graduates accepted into the organisation and um, from there I have done so many roles and different positions around um, ICU, theatre, I uh, did the graduate program, I went into education, became an educator for a while, did after hours management, I did policy development. Um, I worked with IT, um, I have run Mata Private Annerley Road, um, I've run Mata Private Hospital Redland, um, and the list goes on and on. And I think what I really want to share with you today is that in the nursing profession there are so many opportunities and um, you know, it's a real pleasure to be able to do that in an organisation and keep current and have new and exciting opportunities. Um, you know, you don't have to go further afield, they are right here on your doorstep, you just need to look for them. Um, but you know, you will um, forge your own career path and um, you know, that will take you in many exciting places and just take the opportunity as you can. Um, as I look out at you today, I can't help but have a sense of pride for belonging to the profession and I think about the incredible journey you've been on and the journey you're about to undertake as a qualified EN. I remember that exciting part where you can introduce yourself. You don't have to say, I'm a student RN or I'm a student EN. Um, you know, you are an EN, <laughs> you know? That is really exciting and perhaps people up in the auditorium don't understand that, but it's a really proud moment when you can do that. And you will go from walking in the footprints of your educators and the preceptors um, to walking your own identity as an enrolled nurse. And um, that's really exciting. You will have started to become more independent and confident in your technical skills, and you would have learnt the value of being a compassionate listener, an empathiser, a teacher, a professional, a critical thinker, but most importantly, an advocate for the patients you serve. And that's an incredible amount to learn in a very short space of time. Nursing is a unique profession and one which you use your mind, heart and your physical being and your soul to tend to others and to show compassion to those in need. And in a time of uncertainty during these COVID times, it is our challenge to remain compassionate, focused and agile to respond to the needs of our patients who are more vulnerable than ever. But at the heart of all of this, I encourage you to treasure your memories um, that you'll create and the learnings that you will conquer, conquer throughout your career. From my experience, these can come at times that you may least expect. It may be the delightful announcement and joy of seeing a new mum with her brand new child. It could be in the conversation you have with a stranger or it could be whilst holding the hand of somebody who is trying to grasp onto the unexpected news they have received regarding their condition or illness. 
It could be captured in the moments you are supporting a grieving family, and it could be in the friendships and relationships we build with our co-walkers. Whatever the moment is, don't let it go unnoticed and don't underestimate the difference a kind word, a gentle gesture, or a reassuring smile can make. I have cherished and loved each one of these precious memories in my career, and I'm really excited for you because I know that memories like these will become part of your makeup, not only as a member of um, this incredible profession, but as a person. From your time here at MARTA, you will not have only been provided with the education to support you in your chosen profession, but you've learnt these incredible skills within the context of the values of the Sisters of Mercy that have been instilled in the organisation. So as you set off on your journey, I encourage you to remain humble and to challenge yourself, possess integrity and take care of yourself. Your head is probably swirling with a whole range of thoughts and emotions from excitement and determination to nerves and the apprehension for the challenges ahead. Rest assured, although you will have some challenging times, you will also meet some incredible people, see things you couldn't imagine, and come out the other side a stronger, more resilient person, and ultimately a brilliant nurse who demonstrates compassion, dignity, and kindness to everyone's path you cross. I truly wish you all the very best for your future, and I once again congratulate you all for choosing to be a part of this rewarding profession. Thank you very much, Tracy. Just listening to in the passion that you had for your nursing profession took me back to 31 years ago, this December, when I first became a nurse and it all became real again. So thank you for that excitement of being part of this wonderful profession of nursing. We now have a pre-recorded address from Dr. Peter Steer, the CEO of the MARTA Group, to share his thoughts. Welcome everyone, MARTA colleagues, family and friends, and most importantly, our newest graduates. My name is Peter Steer and I'm the CEO of MARTA. It's an honour to celebrate an incredibly important day on MARTA's calendar, a day when we welcome another group of graduates into the nursing profession. I want to start by congratulating you on the completion of your Diploma of Nursing and by acknowledging your dedication and hard work in achieving this milestone. As a MARTA education graduate, you've joined a network with a rich history of providing care to the community. MARTA nurses have responded to people with care and compassion in their time of need for the past 110 years. As MARTA grows and evolves, this legacy of care remains and influences every day of our practice. You and your nursing colleagues play the single greatest role in ensuring people feel safe, secure, informed and cared for. To our patients and to the other organisations you may work for throughout your career, you represent MARTA. You've already shown resilience, adaptability and commitment in achieving your goals. Those qualities will ensure your continued success within healthcare. Whether you choose to jump straight into your clinical career or you choose to continue your studies, we encourage you to never stop learning and growing. Healthcare constantly changes, and as we respond to the needs of our community, now and into the future. The program you've undertaken with MARTA Education has set you up for an incredibly bright and engaging career, and you have a wide range of opportunities before you. You've come so far, but you have many, many more steps to take. Where you go on your journey is up to you. I encourage you to aim high. I also encourage you to find inspiration from the wonderful nurses who are leading MARTA today, many of whom you have encountered during your studies. You can now embark on the next phase of your journey with confidence. Having achieved academically, I urge you not to forget there are two elements held to be critical in our caring professions. That is both the science and the art of caring. A great quote I came across many years ago from a thoughtful physician. She said, We thought we could cure everything, but it turns out we can only cure a small amount of human suffering. The rest of it needs to be healed, and that is different. Science defines life in its own way, but life is larger than science. Life is filled with mystery, courage, heroism, 
and love, all things we witness but cannot measure or even understand, but they make our lives valuable anyway. So as you go forward in your careers, wherever they take you, I know that you'll continue to be challenged and rewarded as you practice this very special profession you have chosen. You are now highly competent, compassionate healthcare professionals. You should be immensely proud of yourselves. And you should know that we at NATA and at NATA Education are proud of you too. Congratulations and good luck to you all. Thank you, Dr. Steer. And now the time has come to acknowledge our graduates of Mater Education's Diploma of Nursing. I'd like to ask Donna Bonney, who's our Executive Director of Mater Education to the stage, to undertake the important role of presenting the scrolls to our graduates. As we have 38 exceptional graduates celebrating such a significant achievement, we'll pause for a photo when they meet with Donna. These amazing individuals have demonstrated the knowledge, skills, attributes and behaviours to be awarded the nationally recognised Diploma of Nursing. Lara Bird. <clears throat> Emily Bretz. Shaylee Cardillo. Luca Cartier. Emily Das. Dakamu Derbyshire. <clears throat> Alison Doherty. <clears throat> Samantha Evans. Jesse Garrow. <laughs> Connie Glover. <laughs> Jordan Goldie. Piper Hampson. <laughs> Joshua Hancocks. <laughs> Toby Harris. Holly Hodgson. Yana Holmes.
Michael Hughes. Ivy Jimenez. Catalina Cable. Mara Lucena. <laughs> Natalie Marsh. Chanel Maurice. <laughs> Sasha Middleton. Gemma Milne. <laughs> Carissa Nethersoll. Nahoya Paya. <laughs> Emily Parfit. Jennifer Petherly. <laughs> Joan Anastasia Pomer. <laughs> Sean Shakir. Victoria Singer. <laughs> Lolita Sirisomphone. Chelsea Smiles. <laughs> Brittany Smith. CJ Strickland. <laughs> Fiona.
Friedrich von Noring. And Kate Wall. So let's have a big cheer for all of our graduates today. Thank you, Donna. And thank you, Donna, for presenting the certificates. Just well done, everyone, and thank you, Donna, and other senior staff for your time this afternoon. As many of you here know, particularly those of you who have been with our graduates every step of the way, it's been an interesting, challenging, an ultimately rewarding journey for our graduates to have finally reached their goal. Before we say farewell to them, as our students at least, and launch them into whatever career path that they've chosen, I'd like to acknowledge the collective efforts of just some of those that have been part of this journey. Firstly, the graduates who've applied themselves with such commitment and diligence and their outstanding knowledge, skills and care this has all been noted by MARTA staff and patients from across our campus. You're a credit to yourselves, and you've also made the entire MARTA education team very proud. Secondly, to all of you here today and also watching this recording, the family and friends who have supported our graduates through the ups and downs, and ups and downs maybe, of their learning. Through unsociable working hours, long periods of study, and the rigorous assessment processes that you have all passed. We know the success we're celebrating today is something you, the families and friends, have made significant contributions to in your own way. Additionally, I would like to acknowledge the work of the entire Diploma of Nursing team, the educators, the clinical facilitators, the administration, support staff, often working behind the scenes, along with the team that pulled together today's ceremony on behalf of everyone here, thank you very much. And finally, I would also like to acknowledge our Executive Director, Donna Bonney, who together with the Executive Directors at MARTA had the vision of establishing MARTA's Diploma of Nursing. Donna actually started her career as an enrolled nurse, working as a clinician for many years, completing her Bachelor of Nursing, as well as three postgraduate qualification. Donna is actually a real role model for you here, you new graduates to the profession, for lifelong learning and sets a wonderful example for our nurses to follow in the future. That marks the conclusion of our ceremony. For graduates who want photos taken with family and friends, have about half an hour after the ceremony to move to the foyer outside at the top of the stairs before returning your academic gowns and caps. We ask everyone to continue to wear your mask while and while you remain at the venue. Students will now exit first. Guests to exit row by row as guided by our ushers. Please maintain social distancing outside in the designated photo area, foyer and large external courtyard area. Congratulations once again, and we hope you enjoy celebrating your graduation this evening. Thank you.